Hello students, welcome to Java programming course. Event handling is also an additional concept for Java programming course. And uh, this is out of one, out of beyond syllabus. Beyond the syllabus, this topic gives you some more additional knowledge on, uh, on how event can be handled in Java and whenever we work with applets point of view or when you um, just need uh, some gives you some additional knowledge right and these are the topics to be covered today in this video so about event handling introduction and the delegation model event model for handling events in java programs and what are the events and uh, event sources event listeners and event classes then some set of example programs, okay? The first concept is introduction. Here in this event handling, and it is uh, fundamental to Java program uh, but because it is integral part uh, to the creation of applets. And in the last video, we seen that applets, uh, how to create uh, the interfaces of based applications. In the same way, here also, it is fundamental to this programming where we create some applets in our program. There are some events to be happen in that applet and uh, that is required for us to organize uh, some graphic user interface type of applications. And applets and even uh, applets are event driven programs. So to create applets and effectively work with these applications, uh, specifically about the graphic interface point of view that applets are event driven programs and that programs may use graphical user interface to interact with the user and it need to be respond to the user according to the event generated by that user through that application and uh, here it is helps you to handle such events generated in that applet and furthermore any program that uses this graphical user interface and uh, you are creating some applications, uh, especially in Windows and all those things will be considered as an event driven programs. And some events are supported by number of packages. And those include in the package called java.util and java.abstractwindow.toolkit and abstract window toolkit in specifically that event class, right? Got it? Next one is the delegation event model. So based on this model, in the previous versions, that it means uh, before that Java 1 and 1.0, 1. like that. In those cases, in two ways they can be handled, the older version and the new versions. But nowadays we are using the modern approach to handle events based on this delegation event model. So what this event delegation event model defines. So this defines standard and consistent mechanisms to generate and process that events generate in our programs. And its concept is quite simple and very simple to handle that events using based on this model in a new era. So here a source generates and to generate an event, we need a source, right? So that source, what type of source it may be, it generates an event, when it generates an event and that event sends to one or more listeners. And there are some listeners that are waiting for two event generated by sources. In this game here, the listener simply waits until it receives an event. Whenever the event, uh, event listener is there, he is always waiting for to receive an event from that uh, event generated by the source. Once an event is received, then what this listener do? This listener processes that event and then returns and returns in a form of reply to that source who generates that an event. 
and this is the basic uh, phenomenon of the delegation event model and inside that uh, what actually some more thing points to be needed in this delegate event model listeners must register with a source so then only that event generated by the source will be sent to that particular listener who registered with that source right so in order to receive an event notification it is mandatory for the listeners to register with the sources right then this provides an important benefit for notifications are sent only to listeners that want to receive them so even there are many listeners for an events to be generated in our program but do we want to make some of those listeners only active to receive that events to handle and return to the source with an reply so generally this is a more efficient way to handle events than the design used in by the old java 1.0 approach but nowadays most of the java programs but uh, still these old type designed event handling are still used uh, in usage but modern programs nowadays mainly using this delegation event model and this is the general uh, model phenomena life cycle we have created there is an event source you know that when it creates event objects that objects may create that listener object and who registered with this source right the got those events generated by this source right so once it receives that one events generated by the source and it implements that listener interfaces to handle that event in a proper or appropriate uh, based on the methods defined in that interface of that listener so it is very simple process the events are generated by event source by creating some event objects and that event objects are received by that listener objects why because this listener are registered with this source event generator so to receive that events generated right after receiving this one how this can be processed that events received so based on the methods defined in the that particular listener interface so that's why this listener object is processed by implementing that listener interface based on that method and the situation and what based that event is generated by that source based on that method appropriate method it handles and processed and then it returns to that user okay that's a simple process and next one so let me show you what are the events we have event sources from where that event has been uh, generated and what are the event listeners available and what are the event classes are listed here so coming to in the delegation model an event is an object as i shown in the diagram an event is an object that describes a state change in a source right it can be generated as yes, okay so here that uh, the generated many type of events can be generated and uh, the person can interact with that events to be and uh, by processing them into using the listeners so here some of the activities that cause events to be generated are just like the example says pressing a button that can be one event generated in uh, that graphical user interface application so that can be handled or entering any character via keyboard it also an event generated in that computer uh, through that application we can handle that one we can process that event and selecting an item in a list as it is also an event clicking the mouse is also one of the type of event we are going to handle to java application programs these events may also occur that are not directly caused by interactions with the user interface 
we will see these things in the program also. And coming to the event sources, and the previous one we listed the, the way the events can be generated. Here, the source of these events generally, a source is an object that generates an event. Right? This occurs when an internal state of an object changes in some way that sources may generate more than one type of event. And I will show you in the list where how these sources of events uh, possibly generate these events. A source must register listeners in order to listeners to receive notification about a specific type of event. Each type of event has its own registration method. There is no particular the registration process is when the event object is created and that event object is based on that listener method and we need to register that listener and that listener to or register to fit the source, there is a specific process to individual event. And event listeners, and listener is also an object that is noticed when an event occurs. There are two major requirements. The first, it must have been registered with one or more sources. Definitely, then only we can able to handle that event generated in that programs and to receive notification about such type of uh, specific type of events generated uh, based on that register that listener going to receive that event, right? Second, it must implement methods to receive the process of this notification. Definitely this listener must implement uh, that listener interface and uh, implement those methods given by that interface to handle or to process this event received from source. And the methods receive and process events are de defined in a set of interfaces found in this package called java.awt right abstract window toolkit.event class for example so what type of event listeners we have mouse motion listener interface so here this mouse motion listener interface is uh, mainly observes what uh, the mouse is doing in the application particularly uh, it defines two methods this is notification when the mouse is dragged when the mouse is dragged that it means clicked and dragged when we press and when we click the mouse without releasing we are dragging that one and you may need this type of events generally in your uh, application programs and also sometimes you need to move that mouse from one location of the monitor to another location of the monitor and these two uh, methods are defined inside java because to identify to handle the events nothing but mouse motion listeners there are many type of listeners there and i will show you that next even classes here the classes that represent events are at the core of java's event handling mechanism and the most widely used events are that of mainly this abstract window toolkit and those some defined by this thing and we know the same from the applet also we can define and work with applets based on these two concepts things as well as AWT and then the last one we defined about uh, we mainly discussed about this AWT thing here also the same thing at the root of the Java event class hierarchy is event object and which is a Java util package and also package this event defines many type of events that are generated by various user interface elements both the ways this also provides this also provides many type of events and some set of classes are defined for event to be generated in the programs. And these are the set of event classes and their descriptions given here. Action event. So it is mainly uh, related to button release. Button is pressed, the item, the list item, something list items given. And when you double click on this one and menu item is selected like that, all these things are considered as action events. Adjustment event, scroll bar type of manipulated operations. Component event, something component hidden, component mode, resize, becomes visible, everything. Ah, you are all doing all these operations in your graphical user interface. Suppose whenever preparing PPT, sometimes you may 
um, move that box item from or uh, image from this location to that location. So whatever, all these are considered as something events generated on your computer. And internally in Java, we have a mechanism to handle such an events generally uh, to process. And I will show you in the example program how they can be handled in a simple way. Okay, some mouse events there, mouse event there, text event, window event. There are many. And, and I told you that these event classes are the mainly uh, provides you the way they can generate events. For example, action event, they generate some events. To handle that events to be uh, processed, we must need a listener interfaces according to these event classes, right? So that is action listener should be there to uh, handle and process those events generated by the sources from the various classes. The same way here, mouse event, there are some mouse listener there, mouse motion listener classes there, and this provides some methods to take care of this motion listener, and this also provides some methods to find out the motion listener, mouse listener like. So everything there, text item there, text item listener there, text event there, text listener there, window event, window listener, everything. So we, whatever the source, how we have event to generate, there should be an listener interface to implement that one. And coming to that example programs, today I'm going to show, uh, show you the way, how can we, uh, these events can be handled. For example, consider one simple example here. I have taken this uh, for graphics point of view and uh, this event class, uh, this is one of the package class available in this package. And class name is event one that extends frame. Frame is a class and also in parallelly it implementing that action listener interface. So here this class event class extends frame and implements this action listener. So I have a text field here and one constructor. Inside of this constructor, I show you the process of first create the event components, right? So here I'm going to create one text field. So that text field, I'm setting one bounds for that. So what type of text field bounds I'm taking? So for example, I'm giving some measures. Main measures based on that, it is going to create one text field in your applet window, okay? Or maybe something uh, application interface in the application interface. In the same way, I also can creating some button, button in that area. So, and uh, text on that button is click me. Or you can change whatever it like, right? And you can also set some boundaries, uh, set bounds to that related to button objects. Here it is text field object. Here it is button field object. Some measurements given to create some box like this and text written in that is click me, right? Like this. So these are called some components to help you to uh, interaction, that is mean user interface interaction, and it responds to your events. That this program responds to your events generated by this type of components you created in your program. So this part of code is create components. Then uh, for this, type of components, we need a listener, right? To handle such events. So register that listener. So I'm creating one listener to this button event. So there is a button event I created. Some one button is created and click me operation. So what the type of event to be generated here it is that may be button click. So click, that's why we need an action listener. So for this object, I am adding one action listener into that particular current object and passing current instance, that is nothing but object view. And add components, set size, layout, and visibility. So add that button, add text field to the interface, and set size, set layout, set visible is true, then only they will visible. And inside of this one, and uh, one event is created and listener is registered. Now action to be performed, action event to be generated, right? When you click this mouse, uh, when you click the button on the interface, then what action to be performed? Then there is a function called action perform, and it takes one action event object, right? Action event is nothing but the class, that action class, event class. That event class object through 
we can create that text field need to be respond and set some text in that field is welcome. So when you click on this one, then some text message will display here like welcome. Right, this the action to be performed. So event is created and event component set, register the listener and these components are added to the interface, then we are performing some action. So all these things, how this can be happened. So everything, event, create component, register listener and adding components, action perform, all of these are placed in my constructor of the class. So then what happens when I'm creating an object of this event one class, so all these operations are sequentially performed in order. Okay. Then what is the output of this one is, so run this one as usual, compile this one first Java C event one class dot Java. Then you write directly run using Java command Java event one. Then it displays one window like this, one text field and one button field. And button text is click me. When you click the button here, when you click the button here, something welcome message uh, is displayed in the text field. That is the response. So to close this window, and it directly when you pressing this one, it will not close. And uh, you know to you go to command prompt, go to command prompt and press Control C to close that window at command prompt. Okay, got it. I will show you the process uh, based on the examples here. So this is the code I have taken into the same uh, button component, and uh, everything is same. I'm going to run this one event one class, right? Go to command prompt. Go to your current directory that is uh, e directory. And my current directory is Java and uh, player screen. Then Java C event event one dot Java. If it is compiled, run it Java space event one. As it is one window is created, I will share with you. Yes, right. Yes, it is. As you got this one, so one text field is created and one button is there, and button on text on the button is click. When you click this one, some welcome message is displayed in the text field. So this is the one action to be generated in an interface and this in user interaction program, right? The events generated on this interface and responding, right? And interacting with you, right? So this is called handling events generated in a simple way. This is very simple one program and you can do many of type of this type of programs by considering the event classes and you can register listeners and you can handle those events based on the methods defined in the uh, event interfaces, okay? Next, coming to the another simple program that is the event two, uh, that quite be interested about mouse listener, right? So that's why I have taken event class two, uh, extends frame, uh, implements mouse listener. Now I'm going to study about the mouse listeners. Uh, when the mouse is entered into my application area, exited, when I press mouse, then it even has to be handled. When the mouse release, when the mouse click, like that, right? Okay. Then coming to here, uh, I have created one label. That label displays about your mouse listener. So when you generate an events uh, uh, with respect to the mouse, mouse device, then that events may be generated differently. So to take those events to handle, I'm going to create labels differently. So in my constructor, I'm first adding some that mouse listeners, add mouse listener of my current object. So one label is that created and set bounds that label with these measurements and add that label to the interface. Okay, so this is uh, the way this is component registration, right? That mouse listener, uh, listener registration. And this is adding the component to the effect and setting the size, layout and visibility. And after this one, you need to perform some action. So what type of actions you can perform by the mouse device? You can perform mouse click. So 
action taken then mouse event object just simply the text uh, whatever the label here which you created through l then set the text to that label image as mouse click the same way mouse entered that box then display text like mouse entered mouse exited mouse pressed mouse released in the way differently you can observe the mouse listeners and the events generated by the mouse by pressing clicking like that okay all these are when you create an object of this one so first show the output of this one compile as usually by using java c and run this java event to then initially you will get the box uh, window like this when you enter the mouse into this area one text message will display like mouse entered when you exit the mouse from this area then mouse exited message will be displayed on the screen when you press click on the mouse that it is pressed it is inform you that you press the mouse when you click on that mouse everything will be right so to close that window you need to press control c at command prompt otherwise it will not close okay so once again go to the command prompt for uh, first go to the program so take this one uh, class event 2 that things things uh, frame and implements mouse listener you can also do program with motion or uh, mouse motion listener also there it mouse drag mouse moved like that the same way here i uh, have taken these type of actions to be generated from mouse uh, using mouse device i'm going to handle those events generated by that mouse device by the user go to the command prompt here then run control c here to press okay then event 2 event 2 it is compiled then run it s just right i will share this screen yes initially it is showing just nothing all all area is clear and when i am entering the mouse here just it is when mouse enter and when it displaying the string like this right when the mouse is going out of the area mouse exited now i am going to press the mouse and click like that right mouse released so this type of informations may uh, handle all some type of these are events considered to be uh, based on the device mouse okay i hope you understand understood the concepts of these event handling based on some two examples there are many there for your basic knowledge only i'm explaining this and uh, from uh, the next video we're going to directly see work with the jdbc okay these are the differences thank you